Hey guys, so really great news. We're finally getting back a feature we've been waiting for for a very long time. Ever since the removal of ultrasonic sensors and the transition over to Tesla Vision, we have been missing out a handful of features that older cars get to enjoy. Features such as Auto Park, Smart Summon, Park Assist have been disabled on newer cars on delivery and Tesla promised to enable them through a software update in the future. Now a lot of time has gone by, however Tesla did stick to their promise and delivered exactly what they said. Just last year, they delivered their very first high fidelity park assist system and it eventually enabled a vector space bird's eye view. Now all of this is really great, however it isn't perfect just yet and there is going to be further improvements to this system in the next version, Tesla Vision Park Assist 2.0. If you guys want to know more about this, I do have a video specific to that, I'll drop that in the description below and up top there, you guys should definitely check it out. So of course, with the introduction of high fidelity park assist, we got to see a glimpse into version 12 and how it's going to eventually enable both of these features. You notice now on the visualization how it's perfectly set up to enable auto park and smart summon once you are in a parking lot. The car is now able to visualize every open stall that's available with very high accuracy and at the same time it's able to detect every single object in its paths and all around it using the occupancy network that we've already seen. So you may not be aware of it but the current build that you have have in your car right now, as soon as you hit to a certain speed limit, you will see that it activates a glimpse into version 12. This is all really big and as soon as Tesla enables this for everyone, you guys are going to be seeing a much more improved version of Auto Park and Smart Summon than what you currently see on older cars right now. At this very point, you are probably well aware of the select group of people that have access to version 12, most of them being employees. However, there is a big difference between the current version of V12 and the one that a select group of people have that enables some of these special features. This build here would be specific specific to highway and city driving as you would see in some of the demo drives available online. However, it has been said that a very specialized group consisting of just executives are testing a very specific version of V12 that has the parking stack enabled. Now unfortunately, all of this is being done on company owned vehicles so the chances of us seeing it anywhere in the public is very very slim. But regardless of all that, it's really great to hear that they are actively working on this software and it's going to be available to the public very very soon. Now as for the actual timeline, it's really hard to say because the time frame that Elon gave us last year in June did not come true unfortunately and Tesla Scope has recently updated their projection aiming at the later end of Q1 for the software to be available. But as we are nearing the end of Q1 and by the looks of it right now with the progress of full soft driving and version 12, I would say that we are going to be pushing into Q2 or even Q3 before we see this parking stack available. So yeah, for those of you anticipating Auto Park and Smart Summon, you won't be waiting much longer, similar to how you're not going to be waiting much longer for the Model 3 Performance Highland. If you guys want to know more about all that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, the bell notification if you haven't already done so, and follow me on Twitter or X at HeyJohnE. Over there, I will be able to update you guys much quicker than I would be able to hear, but stay tuned to all of my socials because this is where I'll be keeping you guys as updated as possible. And if you guys want to support the channel I do have a patreon link in the description below so yeah this should wrap it up for this one but there is a lot more to talk about and lots more update on this new parking stack that I want to share with you this should wrap it up for this one I hope you guys enjoyed it this is John once again peace out